Well, hello and welcome back to Alan Wall's Photography. I'm Alan and in this brief video we're going to be talking about uh, macro and basically the gear that you need to take with you in your bag when you go off into the woods to hunt for insects to photograph. Very basic stuff but there, there may be some stuff in my bag that you wouldn't think to, to put in yours necessarily so it's worth a watch. We'll make it quick. Let's get started. So let's get started. We're heading off into the woods to do some uh, macro photography. And I will usually just carry with me one small bag. This is a, this is a, a messenger size bag made by um, Think Tank, I believe, but it's absolutely perfect for the job at hand. And here is, here's what I, well, so much for the battery, I guess I'll be one battery short on this shoot. But uh, let's just go through what, what I keep in here. First thing, and I'll be talking more about this when we talk about lenses, is you're gonna need a camera. Now, that is, uh, that is not the camera that I would normally take, but I'm showing it because it is a perfectly good camera to use uh, when you're out on a macro shoot because uh, it has all the features you need. It has a 24 megapixel sensor uh, and it takes great photographs. I will show you uh, my, my, normal, uh, my normal macro rig is, is a bit bigger and a, a lot chunkier, but um, you can take pictures just as good with this. And if you're going to be lugging this around in the woods, you're going to be grateful for its compact size and, and very lightweight. This is, a, by the way, a Nikon uh, D3400. I don't think they make them anymore, but they make a um, D3500 that uh, is um, about the same size, has roughly the same features, and uh, it's cheap, like 360 something dollars. The next thing, of course, is a lens. And I think one of the best macro lenses out there uh, for, um, for lugging around all day is this 85 uh, millimeter 3.5G. Uh, it's from Nikon. It's a DX lens. It's actually designed to be used with a camera like this. And uh, together, they make a, a, a great pairing. This is a, a very, very sharp lens. They're, they're not cheap. Uh, they're, they're, it's about a $500 lens if you buy one new, but they're all over the place on, uh, on eBay and most uh, of your camera shops have a, a used model of this uh, that, uh, that are, most of them are very high quality, very good lenses. If you buy it from like uh, Adorama, or from uh, B&H, uh, you'll be safe. They won't sell you a rubbishy lens. So they're the first two things. Now remember in the next video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can go do your macro photography without a fancy lens like this. Uh, but um, for the time being, this would be uh, a good start. Another thing that I'm gonna explain in the, uh, in the third video, when we start talking about lighting, not quite sure which is the right way up, the way I've got this camera, but um, when we talk about lightning, lighting, I'll explain why this cheap um, imported uh, third party flash is really all you need. And in many respects, it's better uh, than a lot of the more expensive uh, options you ha have out there. This is a $65, battery operated it doesn't use the lithium batteries it uses it uses a rechargeable double a batteries hard to get that in focus isn't it but uh, it, the um, the flash is great these batteries are the worst thing ever they they last for mere mere moments can't stand them but I'm, I'm working my way through a big box I bought and then I'll never buy them again 
But anyway, uh, I'll be talking more about your options with flash later. Let me see. I, I put my uh, I put my camera strap. Uh, in the bag only to remind me to tell you that I really don't use one. Um, I use one for every other kind of photography I do. In fact, I, I hardly ever pick up a camera that doesn't have a camera strap on it. Uh, but when I'm out in the woods doing, uh, doing macro, I use a, a gadget that I found that's made actually by the uh, same company that made my camera strap. And this is a great camera strap, the uh, Peak Design Summit something or other, Summit Edition. It's like seat belt material, fantastic. But they also make, um, they also make this little doodad, which is just a, uh, basically a, another bit of, seat belt material only smaller and it goes on your wrist like so and then this clippy part well I've picked up a camera that doesn't have the attachments on it I'll get my my main camera it has these um, little uh, plastic and heavy string jobs that you can attach on all the attachment points and this thing just slips in and clicks and this is a for me a much more uh, useful way to secure a camera while I'm uh, crawling around crawling around in the woods because the strap tends to get stuck on everything uh, branches and tree limbs and I'm, I think it's less safe than uh, uh, than not having one at all what else have we got in here? I carry one of these. Uh, I seldom use it, and I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't recommend you going out and 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 buying one uh, uh, just while you're starting out. But it's a it's a right angle uh, viewfinder. It it attaches to the. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see that well. It attaches to the. Uh, viewfinder of the camera, the little metal bit that's under the rubber there, and it allows you to uh, uh, view the um, the scene in front of you from the top, which is great if you're uh, insects crawling around on the ground. Honestly, I don't use it very much. Um, if I have to put my head down in the in the grass, I normally don't bother, but I have it with me in the bag. It's a bit of an extravagance. It costs a few hundred dollars. Let me see what else is in here. That's an absolute must, stays in my pocket because your lenses will get dusty and dirty if you're uh, crawling around in the, the woods. This is gonna some, be something I, uh, whoop, falling apart. I'll explain this when we talk about uh, exposure. I don't actually use it, but I always have one, and, and I'll, I'll explain that when we get to lighting. There's a reason for it. These are made uh, by um, Altura, which I think is uh, part of Adorama. Don't know that for a fact. All right, what's next? Oh, I'm dropping everything. Oh uh, yeah, th this, this goes for any time. Any time you're going out to take pictures, it doesn't matter. Make sure you've got some extra cards. These things do go bad, and there's nothing worse driving a long way to a, a promising place to, to take photographs and then have your, your card be bad. I also recommend, this came with that, uh, that bag, but even if it didn't come with a bag, you can buy these things for pennies. Um, or Well, probably uh, dollars actually, but it is just a little waterproof cover for the bag. Now I don't take the bag out with me when I go wandering, but I do take this out, either stuffed in my back pocket or um, it's got a little Velcro thingy here that goes around your belt loop. The reason is, it's amazing how many times, if you get absorbed in your photography like I do, I'll be traipsing through the woods, completely lose track of time, and then uh, walk right into a thunderstorm because I'm not paying attention. And uh, having one of these is a lifesaver because some of these, uh, some of these lower-end cameras don't have any kind of weather sealing on them. So uh, 
you really need to, to think ahead because you don't want to be out in the middle of nowhere getting drenched with your camera. Let's see what else we've got in here. Yes, a miner's lamp or a, flat, a headlamp, straps around your head anyway, and uh, it gives off a, a, a fairly bright light and this and a red light, but I don't know what that's for. But anyway, this is, this is very handy if uh, you're gonna be leaving early like I often do, especially on a chilly morning when you can catch insects covered in frost or, or dew, uh, make for some great photographs. But in that first half hour when you're walking from the car uh, to find the, the, your, your spot, uh, you really need something to show you where you're going so you don't end up in a snake pit or something like that. This is an absolute must. This is a um, bug repellent spray. I can't remember what it's called because the stuff in here is kind of we weirdly corrosive and it melted the glue on the label. But this is fantastic for uh, repelling. Oh, that was it. That's the name of it, Repel. It works for mosquitoes uh, for about three and a half seconds. Um, but that's the only reason I put it on is uh, I don't mind the, the other bugs, but the mosquitoes are horrendous. I don't know if this really helps or not, but I definitely carry it and spray it when I, when I think I need to. Um, another must, especially if you're gonna be using any of the lighting recommendations I make that uh, involve using a flash, extra flash batteries, because um, you will go through these batteries on a macro shoot and it's very disappointing to, to run out of artificial light halfway through a shoot. I would recommend, well, we'll talk about it in the lighting section, but I would seriously consider getting an inexpensive flash that has the lithium uh, batteries that hold a much longer charge. Um, and that way you can carry a power bank with you and, uh, and juice it up if it runs low. Okay, um, another must. I know that this battery is actually not the battery for this camera. Uh, that was the thing I dropped right when we started. But uh, an extra camera battery, just like carrying extra uh, memory cards, this is a must. You absolutely have to have a spare battery. Well, that's, that's really about everything, uh, everything I take. Uh, now, one, one other thing, knee pads. Yes, knee pads. Um, it's not something. It's not something a lot of people think about, but uh, you will be spending a large amount of time on your knees, uh, and there are. Uh, uh, there's nothing worse than than putting all your weight uh, on a, a jaggy rock that you didn't see in the grass. So, I strongly recommend getting these. You will look absolutely ridiculous in them, tromping around in the woods with these. Uh, but you know. Any other person that meets you is probably a macro photographer and he'll probably be wearing a pair of them as well. So don't be self-conscious and give them a try. These were like five or six dollars at one of those big uh, home, home stores. QEP they're called. Anyway, um, so that's, that's really everything I carry. It's very, very basic. Uh, there's one piece there's one piece that will go with my lighting suggestion that, um, uh, that I'm not gonna show you now because it's, uh, I have to explain how it works. But uh, in, the, in the next video, uh, we're going to, to get into some specifics about lenses and about uh, how you can enjoy macro photography without having to, to shell out three or five hundred dollars. But for, for just basic uh, trips out to the woods, I, I never leave home without all of this stuff. And as you can see, it's, it's just not that much. Well, that about covers it. That's what I put in my bag when I go off to take macro photographs. It's pretty straightforward. Nothing in there should be too surprising except possibly the knee pads. 
I would agree. But anyhow, uh, we will be back shortly with another video. And uh, in the next one, we're going to be talking about how you can modify your existing equipment and still get great macro photographs. In other words, how to do macro photography on a budget before you invest in a lens. And uh, the third video in the series is going to deal with lighting and exposure. But uh, until then, if you heard anything that was useful or you liked, uh, I hear that it's good if you leave a comment or if you uh, write a review or if you subscribe to the channel. I have no idea why any of that is good, uh, but um, everybody says that. So um, if you do those things, I'll be uh, eternally grateful, I suppose. Fair enough. Uh, we'll be back again soon with the next video in the series. Until then, take lots of good pictures, stay safe, cheerio.